So you wanna do something like this. You first need to know a little bit about shader graph, since I don't want to repeat myself and worse, waste time of those who already know this stuff. If you are new to shader graph, simply watch this video. Link is in the description below. First, we need some kind of noise, simple noise to be precise. Now, we need to get normal vector of our plane. Normal vector is the direction perpendicular to the surface of an object. Luckily, there is a node for that. Now, if we multiply our noise with the normal vector, we will get something that you can imagine as a plane of vectors with magnitude corresponding to the noise value. Simply add this to the positions of our vertices. Remember, set it to the object space and plug it into vertex position in our master node. If you want to be able to control the height of our displacement, simply create property and multiply the vectors before adding to the position node. You can notice that the plane is very chunky. That's because Unity's default plane is very low poly. You can either generate your own plane with C-Shot script, leave a comment if you want a tutorial on that, or hop into Blender and make a plane as detailed as you want. The rest is fairly easy. To color our mesh, depending on the height of vertices, you need to separate different layers. To do that, use a step function and create a property to control the range of our cutout. Remember that to be able to color it via multiplying with desired color, the cutout needs to be white. Now color it and connect it to the albedo in master node. For another layer, we do the same. Just increase the range, cause we need it to be bigger, and then subtract from it the first region. Now color it and add to the first layer. If you want more layers, just repeat the steps, each time subtracting the previous one. Now for some final touches. If you want your terrain to have more details, like in Minecraft, you need to add together a couple of noises with different scales. and then multiply them with some number to weaken them. Denser ones should be weaker. Also, remember that after adding them together, we want values to be between 0 and 1. So either weaken the noises by such values that after summing them up they'll return 1, like for example 0 0.6 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 equals, well, 1 or divide the sum of them by the sum of numbers by which you've weakened or strengthened them. So if the first was multiplied by, by 4 and second by 1 and third by 0 0.5, you should divide the result by 5.5. Hope you can understand my weird explanations. And now the train generator is ready. and. This cool shader effect, although it does not have colliders, you can still use it, for example, in a level select menu as a hologram display, in an environment in some way. Your imagination is a limit here, so tell me in the comments, what are your ideas for implementing this cool shader? Also, if you want a tutorial on some specific topic, let me know. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time, and well, to the next time.